All right, probably the best feature that's not talked about enough is the keyframe stretcher. Basically, if you have two keyframes and you change the values between them, and then you go to your spline graph, and you make a certain spline like this, all you have to do in order to proportionally change the length is highlight both those keyframes like we have right here, and click this time stretch button that's in the spline viewer over here, and then we could bend this however we want, and we can change the length between them. And so technically you could have like preset transitions and then be able to change the length of them between the keyframes just as easily as that. And then unclick it if you want it, to, if you're done with it and it also snaps to the graph and then you can change your spline like this again and then highlight everything and then just readjust the timing again. And it doesn't even change the, uh, the handles, which is great. It keeps them the same length. So whatever you do, remove it, it just it literally just proportionally scales and that's, that's great. All right, the reason that the time switch is good with proportional scaling is that it moves the middle keyframe as well. So if you have everything highlighted and you bring it down like this, it moves everything and it's proportional. It just speeds it up the animation practically, or it stretches it out if you want to bring it to the end like that, and it does that. And if you try to move the keyframes itself, it doesn't do that correctly. So like say, let's move these and we just want to move it forward like that. Oh, we have to do that. And then we have to change it back to where it was before. And it just won't be the same. So that's why this proportional scaling is so good. And that's why people should know how to use it.